Um, greetings. Um, for some women that go and do scan, they will now tell them that they have subchorionic hematoma. You know what that means? Subchorionic hematoma. It means that there is blood, there's a collection of blood between the sac of your, or, of the, the sac, the baby is inside, the sac carrying your baby, called the chorion, and the, and the uterine wall. All that means is that you, you had a miscarriage, a, a, an incomplete miscarriage, or you are about to have a miscarriage, or you have what they call a, a, a placenta abruption. It's very common in women with hypertension in pregnancy, women that are diabetic, or, or women that are a little older before they got pregnant. So it's called subchorionic hematoma. When you have something like that, that is not the time for you to travel at all. You need to be in one place. Your doctor may even admit you and you'll be on bed rest. Subchorionic hematoma. The picture is up there. Yeah, the picture is up there. You will see. Uh, in the picture, you will see there is a blood, this red line, red blood, uh, between the placenta, so between the placenta amniotic sac, that is the chorion, and the uterine wall. It's not a good thing, though. It means an abortion has happened or is about to happen. Or if care is not taken, that uh, incomplete abortion will be complete. So you are going, the baby is going to flush out soon. So take your time. It's not when you have something like that, you'll be traveling or be jumping from one vehicle to the other. You just stay in your house. Yes. There are women with subchoronic hematoma that still give birth normally if they follow their doctor's instruction. Thank you and bye-bye.